So we're going to create a commercial proposal, a commercial insurance proposal. So what we're going to do is go here to quote control. I'm going to right click and add a new quote. And I'm going to start filling this out. I will probably pause this video and come back to this so it does. So you don't have to watch me fill everything out. So I filled in a little information here and I'm going to make this one a business auto. I'll go and enter a little more commercial uh, detail. I can just add quote as my carrier for now since I don't know who my carrier might be. And well, assuming actually that for the sake of this proposal, I'm going to pick some uh, a carrier and go ahead and give it a price because now we're, we're going to simulate that we've gotten the quotes back and uh, we're going to give this proposal to our prospect. So I may want to go in and put some uh, limits of coverage. And I'm not thinking anything about uh, really what I'm putting here. So just picking some numbers to fill in the, the screens. Um, maybe good enough for the moment. Now, I'm going to want to add, and I'm insuring Disney World. And that's kind of important because this uh, proposal is going to use the company name as it matches maybe more than one quote. So I'm going to add a second quote now because that was Business Auto. Now I'm going to add a quote for Disney World for general liability, we'll say. So I will enter my commercial details. I'll pick a carrier. And now this is general liability, so I will put in some coverages here. So I have some coverages there. And then I'm going to go ahead and add one more. I'm going to add a workers' comp. some coverages for it. Now I can do a lot more things. As a matter of fact, on the proposal, it'll pull over uh, some of this other details. Uh, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to do some pretty basic information here. So now I have three quotes in quote control. I can go back into any one of these quotes, go into the details of any given quote, go to forms and commercial proposal. It's going to take me here. I currently have no proposals generated for this uh, insured yet. So I'll create a new one. Fills in this basic information for me and it does not, it's not selected any carriers or any companies that I'm proposing yet for coverages. So I go here and I can see all three policies that I've quoted for uh, Disney World. I can select any combination of these. I'm going to select all three. as these three. Oh, I forgot to choose a name for this one, so that makes that look a little yucky. If you were to forget in real life, that would you'd forget you know, be like this too. I also forgot to put premiums in over here, and I apologize for that. I think you'll get to the point. You will get the point. So I'm going to, um, I could email or save it to images, but I'm just going to view it for now. So it produces a nice cover page. Then after the cover page is a summary page. So this is the you know, the business auto, the GL, and the workers' compensation. Again, not a lot of information because I didn't put all that much in this example. And then after the uh, the summary pages, there's going to be one page for, for each policy type. So here's business auto. And again, I just did not fill in a lot of information, but it's going to have some stuff here. Had I put all, put all the vehicles and drivers in, it would have listed those. Over to GL, you can see the coverage is here. And then finally over to... Uh, workers' compensation. So uh, that's entering the quotes so that they you can uh, generate a proposal and how you would uh, create the proposal. And then these are the things that you can do with it. So hope that's helpful. Hope you like this. If you have any questions about it, let us know. If you have any feedback or any suggestions about how to make this better, would love to hear that too. Thanks so much.